So that is what it means by being a mediator. In order for us to have a happy family within the family, we need to learn to be a peacemaker, a mediator, because that is what God has called us to do, you know, to be a peacemaker. Okay, that's letter M. Now let's go to letter I. Family, right? So, so in order for us to have a, a, a happy family, one of the key ingredients is individuality. So what do we mean by this? You know, it, it also relates to acceptance. You know, to each one, God has given a special ability, talent, a spiritual gifting that makes one person unique. Each one of us is unique. There are no two persons that are alike. We should not even expect twins, though they are siblings, that they would be alike or similar in nature. Okay, there should be space in the family for uniqueness or individuality. Let's look at this verse. First Corinthians 12, 7 says there, Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for a common good. So it is a, sabi niya na, to each one. So to, meaning, God has given each one a uniqueness of each individuality. There are no two peoples that are alive. We should not think of it na yung, misas, may mga tao na sasabi, dapat kagaya ka ng kuya mo. You should be like your brother, or you should be like your sister. Diba? It, it, it doesn't promote individuality or uniqueness. You know, and this is the reason why others develop inferiority complex. There is always comparison instead of looking for individual talents and gifting. Madalas ganun eh, may mga, you know, Especially be, us being parents, kailangan maging cautious tayo dun sa mga ganang. We have to be cautious with the way we treat our with our kids. There should be no room for uh, comparison, right? You know, I mean, we could we could develop encouragement, but not in, in that way. We are trying to, sometimes we are trying our kids to, uh, to like what we want, or worse, we want them to complete our past failures. But dapat, you know, ako nung, misang ganyan eh, actually, kinukorek ako ng white ko eh. And I'm okay with that, you know, for you to know. Sometimes, sinasabi ko sa mga anak ko, sometimes I told my kid, you know what, when I was young, when I was studying in, in, in school, ganito ako, ganyan ako. So, in a way, it's wrong. Kasi I'm trying to compare myself to them and I'm trying to push them. Diba? So, they have their, their own uniqueness, their own individuality. Uh, again, we could encourage them in a way, but not to to impose things to them. Ano sabi sa Psalms 139 verse 14? Ano sabi niya, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that uh, full well. So each one of us has its own beauty. Each one of us has its own beauty. Each one has its own character. And each character will not come out if we are going to force them what we want. Diba? Bawat isa sa atin may kanya-kanya character. But that character will not come out if we are going to force it na maging iba. Let us avoid labeling. And this is not good and just adds up to inferiority complex. No comparison, no labeling, but allow individuality. You know, let us encourage and not discourage. Let us allow them, listen to this, let us allow them to become a first class somebody than a third class copycat. Diba? We have to allow them to become a first class somebody than a third class copycat. Oh, dapat kagaya ka ni, ni kapatid na ganito, magaling kumanta. Diba? Oh, kakakayang, ganyan ka dapat. Tingnan mo niya ang kuya mo, ang talino. Isang hindi nakakatulong. It doesn't help. And that is one of the reasons kung bakit may mga, may mga kabataan na hindi sila, they are not happy in their family because they are being compared. We need to understand that God has has uh, made us uniquely. Uh, sabi ko nga madalas kung ano yung frustration ng mga magulang, yun yung nasusunod. We parents are here to guide, to inspire, and to support. You know, if God has given us free will, then how much more are we? 
Diba? God has given each one of us a free will. Hindi niya tayo pinors na ako, dapat ganyan ka. Pero tayo sa mga anak natin, doon sa may mga anak, for those who have kids, sometimes we force them, oh, kailangan, no, mag-doktor ka. Pero kailangan mag-dentista ka. Or, gusto ko pangyari sa mga anak ko, pero I'm still giving them the, 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 the free will. You know, because each one of them are different. But of course, there should always be wisdom for the kids, okay? So don't use that as an excuse. Oh, sabi ni Brother Adel, pwede daw ako pumili ng basta-basta. No, we have to say God's wisdom. Okay, so uh, family. So we are already in I. I for individ- individuality. What else? What can we learn? What other elements uh, we could use to have a happy family? For I, industry. Another thing that helps to make a happy family is industry. Okay, what do you mean by industry? There should be work and production. It's not like one person is working and the others are, are at, at rest. Okay, uh, let, me, let me look at you eye to eye. Because, you know, a lot of people here, we, even in our church, you work so hard, and then there are some other people that they're just simply, you know, waiting for you to give them some help. It's not wrong. I'm not saying it's not wrong to help, but uh, you know, in, especially in the Philippines, sometimes it's hard to raise in poverty because of family relatives. You know, uh, just work a bit, then they will start counting your savings. May mga ganun, may mga umakasa agad. I know, I, I don't want to point fingers, but it happens. Yung laging umaasa na lang doon sa may nagtatrabaho. You know, pagka yung, yung si ate nakapagtapos, o ikaw na, nakatapos ka na, ikaw na magpaaral sa mga kapatid mo. You know, when there is remittance that arrive, everyone knows. Alam mo, ganun nila. You know, we all should work hard and only, okay, listen to this. And only those who we really need to help are those, number one, these are the criteria, kung sino yung pwede natin tulungan. Those are that are too old, too young, or too sick. Do you agree? Sila lang yung dapat natin tulungan. If, if not, then they should have to work on their own, especially the children of God. Of course, I'm not saying, oh, bad, sabi ni Banda nila, wag nyo daw tulungan yung mga kamagana. No, help them initially. Okay, but not to the point that every month you will sustain all their needs. Because you're not helping them. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Diba? We need to help them if they are too old, if they are too young, hindi sila makapagtrabaho, or they are too sick. But if they can work, then, you know, bigyan mo ng puhunan. Give them some, some something to start with. And then after that, you know, let them learn how to uh, work for themselves. Ano sabi nito? Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive life. So each one of us is being encouraged to be productive. Diba? Hindi lang, hindi lang si ate na nasa abroad. Hindi lang, you know, hindi lang si kuya na nasa Saudi. Everyone needs to, you know, to be productive. You know, while we all have energy, we need, we, we all need to work. Unless we have saved a lot and of course we could retire early. But the sad part is that some people does not even care enough to save even for him or for themselves. You know, pag namatay sila, parang okay lang. Bahala na si, bahala na si tatay sa akin. Pag namatay, o bahala na sila. You know, even for your death, you need to prepare that so that the people who will be left behind would not take the burden. Importante yun. Yung kaya nga, may mga, may mga tinatawag na mga plans, di ba? You know, we will, sometimes, uh, there are people like this. You know, we, they will get well, Kaasawa sila, you know, in time without preparation. Oh, may mga ganyan, di ba? There are some people like that in the Philippines. They, they, mag-aasawa sila without any preparation. They will even bring forth children or child without preparation. 
And then they will rely to other family members to take care of his or her kid. Because they will say, eh, uh, ano eh, kasi. Well, you know what? Let me tell you this. You know, speaking, hindi nangyayari yung nabuntis. Kasi hindi naman yan yung one time na natulog ka, tapos na, 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 pinukol ka, tapos bigla ka ng anak. Diba? It happens. You know? It, 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 it's not something that minsan siya sabi nila na aksidente. Uh, it's hard to understand. Paano ka na aksidente? Nasagasaan ka, kaya ka nabuntis? Hindi hati susi, tumatawa na. You know, that's the truth, right? I, I really couldn't understand the idea of oh, ano, na, 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 buntis. Hindi yan na buntis. Ginusto nila pareho yan. It happened because both of them are wanting it. So, you know, what, what, what are we trying to say here? We need preparation. We, we need to work. We cannot just simply rely on other, on our relatives. Na, nagkaanak ka, o, nagkaanak ka na nagkaanak, tapos ihingin ka sa, sa kuya mo, sa ate mo, para paaralin yung anak mo. That's not good. Right? You, you, we, we, we don't encourage that. Ano sabi sa 1 Thessalonians 4.11? Look at it. And to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. Okay, you should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you. Remember, we studied this in the Bible study. So that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. This is our encouragement that we need to work with our own hands. The things that you feed yourself, it should come from your own work. Listen to this. Ah, uh, sabi niya ang ganyan, uh, this is the Christian way, that we become dependent and that we can help others. It is different if we are sick, and that that is not the same. But if we are able, then we should follow in this way. One of the sad parts is that, uh, that we should realize that there are so many members of the family that work abroad, but if we look at most of them, including us, you know, madalas, if it's not death, hindi pa tayo makaka-uwi. Ha? Misan, uwi ka lang dahil may namatay. Kasi ayaw mo na umuwi. Kasi when, when you go home, ala, you know, magasto, lahat, humihingi ng pasalubong, lahat, you know, pipilahan ka na. Eh, nadadala. Di ba? Ano sabi dito sa Proverbs 10.4? Sabi niya ganun, Lazy hands make uh, make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. And this is equally the same within the family. Diba pagka meron, if you have a family member inside the home that is just simply not doing anything, lagi nanonood ng TV, nakataas pa ang paa, tapos, you know, oh, pag, pagdating sa bahay, pagkatapos mo basketball, ano pagkain? Diba? Di, hindi man lang marunong magluto. Diba? Maiinis ka, di ba? Sa mga, sa mga ganun eh. This is practical, but you know, this is what the Bible is teaching us. This is why people tend to shy away, you know, when 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 uh, when they are helping you or supporting you. May mga ganyan tao, yung talaga mapagbigay, pero sometimes yung mga tao nadadala. You know, they get, uh, tao na nadadala sa taga, sa inyo. They, uh, 